Hey everyone, hope you're doing good. Now, we're going to be discussing a very interesting topic once again from the Empire Strikes Back novel from a certain point of view. This is going to be taking uh, place on page 220 when we see Yoda on Dagobah and you know why he kind of chose to go to Dagobah and many other things that we're going to be talking about in this video. So he said, let's go ahead and uh, start reading here and uh, seeing my first initial thoughts of what uh, Yoda's saying here. He said, the 900 year old Jedi Master had come to Dagobah for a rest and reflection so he really didn't come to dig up a really to learn more because you know he's 900 years old what else is there to learn he would probably think um now he said rest and reflection of course being 900 years old even that's probably old even for his species through everything he's been through and you know reflection thinking about all of his 900 years imagine of how much he has to think of just the Clone Wars, but not just that, but all of his 800 other years that he's lived through. I there's probably been a lot of other things that he um, that he has thought and you know that he hasn't done perfect in, in his mind. He says living here was a way to carry out the fleeting time he had left before joining the spirits of his enlightened pre predecessors in the Force. So. Once again, a reflecting on what he's done in the past and, you know, not really the train anymore. And he said, in the past, Yoda may have occasionally used his cane to trick students into believing he was frail. Now, that is interesting. That is actually in the past. So, and what this is saying in the Revenge of the Sith, when we see Yoda, I might make this a separate video in a separate video. This is pretty cool. When we see him use his cane he was trying to trick students that he was teaching in the movies because they, he wanted everyone to think that he was weak and frail and now and by the time of the empire strikes back it, it had become a necessary tool to keep his footing in weaker moments so what this is saying is definitely aged not so well as it's worse not make one great do they hmm. yeah i'm still working on my yoda accent his fighting form long behind him replaced with even greater inner strength enlightened and acceptance acceptance of his past mistakes and foolish assumptions so like i said he was thinking meditating on his mistakes that you know could have been better on which he's probably not going to go into the war between words and fix him because, you know, that would definitely not be good. <laughs> An acknowledgement of the swaying stream and his place within it. Yet there would always be more to learn. Okay, good. So he came to dig up at first, probably thinking that he needs rest and everything. But now he's at the time at the Empire Strikes Back. I remember, 20 years has passed. He still thinks there's lots to learn. Maybe not in his fighting style, but, you know, through the Force, I would believe. So... Now, in this uh, few, I believe, like two paragraphs, um, hmm, I definitely would, what most interests me was how he wanted, during Revenge of Sith, he wanted people to think that he was weak, and that I find very interesting. I would definitely make a separate video, you know, talking about that and many other things of uh, the real reason Yoda came to Dagobah was for rest and reflection. He clearly states it when he is, when he tells us right here. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed these um, these videos on the Empire Strikes Back from a certain point of view. I really do. And if you do, please uh, give it a thumbs up and um, think about subscribing to the channel. It'll help um, support the channel as well very much. And hopefully the Force will be with you always. And I think that it will be and I, no i know it will be